But we'll begin with what we're learning in the breaking news we've been following from court in downtown Detroit, where State Senator Virgil Smith is going to resign from office as part of a plea deal. It tops Local 4 News at 5. We're glad you're with us today. Smith faced a number of felonies after being accused of shooting at his ex-wife in May of last year. That's right, Devin. But tonight, the agreement on the table calls for him to plead to a single felony charge. Let's get right to Mara McDonald. She's covering this for us live at Frank Murphy. Where does the deal stand right now, Mara? Well, Carmen, this is kind of interesting. The judge in this case says that he is not willing to give this thing the green light. Uh, let's face it, Senator Smith is getting a significant reduction in charges and sentencing here. And the judge says he would like to see a whole lot more information before he says yes to this. My how do you plead to count one? Malicious destruction of personal property, a value of $20,000 or more. Guilty. Under the terms dished out in court today, State Senator Virgil Smith avoids the other felony charges and in return pleads guilty to one count of malicious destruction of property over $20,000 in value. Smith was busted after his ex-wife paid a visit to his home last May and he chased her out with a gun firing multiple times into her Mercedes. Under the plea, he'll spend 10 months in the Wayne County Jail, face five years of probation and be forced to resign from office. Do you understand that if I accept your plea, you'll be giving up every one of these rights? Yes, Your Honor. Back here alive, Judge Talon, who you just heard from, is asking for a sentencing memorandum from both the defense and the prosecution, and the defense pushed back on that, asking about the level of detail that, that they need to provide and whether that sentencing memorandum could actually be sealed. Carmen Devon, back to you. Now, why is there such concern over the public seeing this sentencing memorandum? Well, Carmen, in court, um, the senator's attorneys admitted that the night this whole thing went down, he was suffering from what they describe as mental health issues, alcohol dependency, uh, as well as a closed head injury. And the way it was portrayed in court is that there is uh, confidential information that could appear in this sentencing memorandum that is embarrassing mm -hmm. to both Senator Smith and to his ex-wife. And that, as uh, the prosecutor said, you know, once this goes public, it stays on the internet forever. The judge didn't seem too concerned about it though he said he wants to see the sentencing memorandum and he'll go from there he's not making any promises on confidentiality back to you all right thank you mara our mara mcdonald reporting for us live